morning everyone. It's Saturday, December 4th, and I just went out and picked another broccoli head. And I wanted to give you all a few tips, uh, a little bit of advice on how I process my broccoli. And also my kale. I picked uh, a good little mess of kale also, and I'll show you that in just a minute. First of all, um, what you want to do is you want to put it in a large bowl or container of water, cold water. And what I do with all my vegetables that might have any kind of little bugs or worms in it, like um, leafy green vegetables, spinach, broccoli, I don't necessarily do it for my cabbage or carrots or beets, but I take the cheapest salt, basically, you can find. Uh, it doesn't have to be iodized, just regular salt. And you want to sprinkle it over your vegetable and uh, Get it in all those little crevices. I, I'm pretty generous with it because I want to get out all them bugs. <laughs> and then what I do is I just kind of swish it around in this salty water and the little bugs and worms will try to escape the saltiness, not realizing the whole water is salty. Um, sometimes these vegetables, they grow really tight and so they hide up in there. You, you don't know they're in there. So you always want to do this before you, even if you're going to cook it, you still want to do it, uh, especially if you're eating it fresh. And what I'll do is I'll let this sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. It depends on how busy I am. If I'm busy, it just stays sitting there until I, don't, I have time to mess with it again. <clears throat> and then when I think that time is right I will rinse it under cold water like this just to drive out all the salt and the bugs give it a good rinse and then what you'll do is you'll cut these uh, stalks all the way down homegrown is really tender even this part is tender the leaves also you can eat the leaves just like any other uh, dark green leafy vegetable um, these are tender you don't really have to remove the stalk unless you just want to. Um, and then if you're gonna be uh, cooking it or processing it in it for the freezer, you wanna try to cut all your um, stalks evenly. Like say if it's a really big piece, you wanna split it in two so that they'll all cook evenly. Cause if you're gonna steam it for five minutes, you want them all to get the same amount of uh, time and that's all you do to uh, process your broccoli and then of course like I said if you're going to freeze it then you will blanch it for about three minutes and then uh, submerge it in ice water let it cool the same amount of time or longer uh, drain it and then package it I package mine dry because I do vacuum seal I use the uh, meal saver packages so it takes out all the air and really preserves it better. Okay, so that's what you do with the broccoli. Now, for the kale, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing, because I mostly do organic gardening, except for severe infestations. But if you'll notice, let's see if there's any little bug holes anywhere. You see one little bug hole there? So it could possibly have a, a little worm or a bug. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna sprinkle it with salt, like this. And I'm gonna submerge it in cold water. And just let that soak for a little while. It'll give a good clean to it also. And I don't eat kale raw because it's a little bit too bitter for me. But I've been sauteing it with olive oil and onion and garlic. And y'all, this is so good. If you've never tried kale before, you ought to try it that way. And that's about it. So, and then again, after it's soaked for 30 minutes to an hour, you'll rinse it off really good with cold water to get the salt off. Okay? That's all there is to it. Until next time, enjoy your vegetables. God bless. Bye-bye.